The IL-96-400M wide-body airliner is poised to revolutionize Russia's long-haul aviation capabilities, marking a significant technological turning point. The move comes after Aeroflot's rejection of the aircraft in its current form. Long-haul wide-body aircraft are in demand not only in Russia but also globally. However, Russian companies need to ensure their competitiveness. Aeroflot CEO Sergei Alexandrovsky highlights several factors. Transitioning from four engines to two is just the first step. There is also a need to implement a digital control system and establish serial production. Another drawback of the IL-96-400M is its mechanical control system. Transitioning to an electronic digital fly-by-wire control system, which would reduce fuel consumption by lowering the aircraft's structural weight, along with a twin-engine configuration and modern onboard equipment, would positively impact the aircraft's competitiveness, Alexandrovsky said, as cited by 56th Parallel. The CEO of Aeroflot also observed that the current production capabilities facilitate the production of up to two aircraft annually, which is unprofitable from an operational cost perspective. Developed in the 1970s, the IL-96 is an improved variant of the IL-86. This fuselage has already reached the half-century mark, Given the need to modify the aircraft to accommodate a two-person crew and two underpowered engines, it is imperative to make the fuselage lighter. Numerous components and systems developed for the MC-21 are likely to be compatible with the new IL-96. After all, airline requirements for aircraft are similar, efficiency, ease of maintenance, and so on. The United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, anticipates that the plane will be ready for testing in 2027. Two critical improvements are at the core of this evolution, the introduction of the innovative PD-35 engines and a simplified two-person crew configuration. This modernization is not merely a mere aircraft enhancement, it is a representation of Russia's strategic response to the intricate technological and economic challenges in the aerospace sector. During testing at the UEC Aviat Vigital facility, the PD-35 engine recently demonstrated exceptional potential establishing itself as a technological marvel for Russia. The engine is the first dual-circuit turbofan of ultra-high thrust in Russia, and it has successfully achieved takeoff mode with a thrust of 35 tons. It boasts an outstanding set of specifications, including a fan diameter of 3.1 meters, a bypass ratio of 10.6, and a weight ranging from 9.8 to 10 tons. The engine exhibits the potential to meet the critical requirements of contemporary long-haul aircraft, despite initial apprehension regarding its full performance capabilities. Although one of the United Engine Corporation releases asserts that this paves the way for the creation of advanced domestic high-thrust engines, it remains uncertain if this is the final design. Since 2016, the state has redirected funding for the PD-35 project to support the PD-14 and PD-8 programs. It is also important to note, consequently, the PD-35 timeline was postponed and it is now anticipated that the engine will be operational by 2030. Nevertheless, in early May of this year, Sergei Chemizov, the chief of Rostec informed Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin during a meeting that the PD-35 would be completed in two to three years, which was significantly ahead of schedule. Based on this information, certification is anticipated to commence in 2026 to 2027. Two engine configurations have the potential to reduce operational costs by 6 to 8 percent by substantially improving fuel efficiency. Furthermore, a reduced engine count simplifies maintenance procedures and reduces associated expenditures. The transition to a two-person cockpit further enhances the aircraft's alignment with modern aviation manpower optimization trends, making the IL-96-400M more competitive in a rapidly evolving global market. Technological advancements extend beyond engine replacement. The modernization activity includes a comprehensive system overhaul, which includes a digital fly-by-wire control system, a lightweight fuselage design, and advanced onboard electronics. Developers are investigating the potential integration of technologies from the MC-21 aircraft, illustrating a comprehensive approach to aircraft development that goes beyond simply replacing components. Interesting developments have occurred in the project's timeline, 
potentially expediting the initial projections for a maiden flight in 2030. Currently, the anticipated start of the certification procedure is 2026 to 2027, although there is a possibility of an earlier maiden flight. The engine's thrust range is presently estimated to be between 26 and 35 tons, and it is still being carefully evaluated. The Russian aerospace engineers' cautious approach and ambition are both evident in this timeline. Production remains a critical consideration for the IL-96-400M. UAC acknowledges this limitation as a substantial challenge as current manufacturing capabilities permit the production of only two aircraft annually. Consequently, the modernization initiative includes scalable production processes in addition to technological enhancements, thereby addressing both economic and technical constraints. It is uncertain whether it will be able to effectively close the gap with Western competitors. However, the dedication to innovation and continuous improvement is evident in every aspect of its development. Now, do you think the IL-96 is an old design and needs to be totally changed? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.